Get ready with me for Valentine's Day. So I'm getting ready right now before work for Valentine's Day because me and my boyfriend are going on a Valentine's Day date during our lunch break because tonight we have like a dinner party thing with our Bible study group and we want to go to that. So our date will be during lunch. It's also like freaking early because it's before work. So before I start getting ready, I need to go make coffee. I don't know if y'all can see, but it is raining outside. Rainy days make me want to do nothing. I really need to get like a wide angle lens for my camera. Cause like, what is this? This is not good. The wide angle would just hit. Oh, it's so good. Now let's get ready for my Valentine's Day. Start with primer. I actually recently got a lot of new makeup and I've been loving the way that makeup looks on me. So I've been wearing it more. So I'm kind of excited to show you guys my new products. And we're also gonna do a little bit of Valentine's Day Q&A. This rain is literally making me wanna just like cozy up with a book. I haven't been reading in like a while and I wanna get back into it again. I'm currently reading The Hobbit, starting my Lord of the Rings series, but I also have one more book of the trilogy I was reading, so kinda all over the place. I don't know if y'all remember my first date in a year on Valentine's Day video, but that was with my boyfriend. That was our first date, so it's officially been one year since we started dating. Although that wasn't like the day we officially became boyfriend and girlfriend um it's just weird how society works like how we like we went through a talking stage and then dating like that's just dating it just is like <laughs> i don't understand like how is that not dating we weren't dating other people anyway but so it's not been officially a year but it's been a year if that makes sense so this is my new concealer that i've been using is the l'oreal infallible concealer I felt like my last concealer was making me look orange so that's like a nice update okay so now i'm using the true match foundation also by l'oreal i heard so many good things about this on tiktok and now i know why because it's it's amazing i really want to get the i think it's called like glow halo glow or something like that from elf but they're literally sold out every time i go to look for it also this thing where you like get the foundation out and then like squeeze it on doesn't really work so i just do it like this <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do you know i hate the way foundation feels but this foundation is pretty light it does feel more like a bb cream but it's like a little bit more coverage than that because i my whole life have really just used like bb creams anyway so this q a i guess is just gonna be about me and my boyfriend so little update on us we are doing so good we've been living together for i don't remember since august we moved into this place in august and it has been so amazing I feel like our relationship has like accelerated timeline because we're living together like we know everything about each other already and like there's no hiding literally anything because we've been living together for a while. I literally look orange. I promise this is gonna look fine when I'm done. <laughs> and we've both been obviously growing our relationships with God in this time and putting Jesus at the center of our relationship which has just made it like the best relationship ever. I don't know. I'm just really happy and I love where I'm at. I'm like tired of blending. I don't really know what y'all want to hear <laughs> so i did ask on instagram but like just a minute ago so there's not that many questions i also can't tell you guys our plans today because it's a surprise secret i actually have so many things coming up that i can't tell you all about that i want to tell you about so bad but by the beginning of like summer midsummer phoenix just come up here he doesn't know where i am like he can hear me but he doesn't know how to get up here he just forgets. Anyway, so by like summer, midsummer, I should be able to tell y'all like all of the plans that are coming up that I'm so excited about. And they're plans that I didn't think would happen. It's kind of like God's plan that he's been like putting on my heart, me and my boyfriend. So it's like crazy, life is about to get crazy. Okay, coffee. Okay, can somebody tell me, am I supposed to put my concealer and then my foundation or my foundation and then concealer? Because I feel like I need to do both. <laughs> and I just don't know which one to do. I'm just gonna do both right now but I don't want to like cake on my makeup. Okay, so another thing that's coming up is my 22nd birthday. My birthday is February 26th, which I'll do like a whole birthday vlog, getting ready with me, whatever, on my birthday. But actually not on my birthday because I'm not celebrating on my birthday because we're doing like community work on my birthday. My birthday's on a Sunday and once a year, my church goes into the community and volunteers instead of having church at church. We do church in the community. And this year, it's on my birthday. So I'm going to celebrate my birthday on the weekend, but not actually. But anyway, I'm gonna turn 22. It's really weird. I was telling my mom this. I can feel myself maturing. Like my brain becoming fully functioning. What is it? The prefrontal cortex or whatever that fully develops when you're 25? It's developing and I can tell. <laughs> I can like actually make good decisions and I feel like I just 
know things better. Also, got the Holy Spirit, got the discernment, got the prefrontal cortex. I'm just getting put together, really. I look absolutely insane right now. Oh, this is another new product that I got. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but I literally don't care. Y'all know how I am about makeup. I just do my thing. I've been looking for like a nice loose powder and I finally found this one and I love it. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I love her. We're just gonna kind of let that sit and take a drink of coffee. But yeah, overall life has just been really good. I love being just in a routine. You know, I work, my boyfriend works. Then we like... Mondays, I teach a Bible study. Tuesdays, I go to a Bible study. Wednesdays, Thursdays, I get to chill. Fridays, I either hang out with my boyfriend or our friends. Same with Saturday and then Sunday's church. It's just like such a nice routine. I've been going to the gym. We've been eating healthy. Things have just been going really well. Actually, wait. I don't know why I put this on first. I should put this on after I do my contour. I've been using this contour for like a year now. And I like it. I don't really have anything like that I don't like about it. What even is this? This is also Wet n Wild. Didn't know I was a Wet n Wild fan. Blend. So it was like back in September when I started like my diet thing and it hasn't been great with like the holidays and everything but I'm finally getting back into it a little bit. It's just so much easier because my boyfriend is on the same page as me and we're both trying to be like our healthiest selves, lose a little bit of like fat, get stronger, that kind of thing. And it's so much easier when your partner and the person you live with is doing it with you because like if we were still buying like chips and snacks and stuff, I would eat them. That's just how I am. If it's there, I'm going to eat it. But since we're both on the same page, we don't buy that and then I eat healthy. So it's really good. I've just been loving having someone that I love so much and get along with so well to share life with. It's been so great. I love our relationship. I wouldn't change anything. We just get along so well. And even when we don't get along, we're so good at resolving conflict. Okay, honestly, if I could give tips on like things to look for in a relationship, conflict resolution has to be up there. Like up there with like honesty, trust, loyalty, communication, which honestly communication kind of is conflict resolvement. You're never gonna get along with one human being like completely. Like I love my siblings, I fight with them. I love my parents, I fight with them. I love my best friends, I fight with them. And not like, like big fights, you know, but like there are gonna be things you don't get along with. And especially with someone that you're like gonna have kids with, you're gonna do life together, make all these huge financial decisions and just decisions in general. Like there's gonna be times that you disagree and sometimes it takes compromise or whatever. But that is something I love about my boyfriend is he has helped me realize there are healthy ways to resolve conflict. Not everything has to be like the end of the world. We can disagree and like come to an agreement. So love that. Um, I think some other things that we've been learning on like our first year together is how to like actually put God first in our relationship and what that really looks like. And honestly, that has been the biggest like change in my life is being with someone who loves God more than they love me, more than they love anyone, and puts God first in literally everything, which is number one for me. And that's obviously how I wanna raise my kids. And so that's just super, super important. But not just like, oh, he's Christian, but like actually puts God first every single day and pushes me to do the same. And I really have appreciated that because there's been times where I kind of like fall off the train of like, you know, okay, I gotta spend my time with God, do my quiet time. Like sometimes it's more of just a routine. And my boyfriend's really good at reminding me that this is a relationship and like God isn't just some far off thing. So I really appreciate him being like a spiritual leader in my life. And that kind of shows the husband material in him. Okay, see makeup is already looking more put together. I've been really liking doing like, oh dang it this thing okay some questions what are some ways that you've grown your relationship with god it's literally just spending more time with him and reading his word so god has already told us so many things about his character um things that he wants us to do how we should live our lives and just things about jesus in the bible and so the more you read it and understand it and get more context the historical context the context of actually the bible and like all of that and putting it together as like one big story and like finding god's characteristics in it you'll come to know god more also just spending more time with him sitting in silence and giving him an opportunity to talk to you and not always just being the one to talk that's been a big thing that i've been working on recently but spending time with god like it just has to be more time like the more time you spend with him the more you're going to get to know him and having like that open heart to be able to be told that you're wrong and be convicted and be able to change where do i see myself in five years let's see so right now i'm pretty much 22 so i'll be 27 in five years that's kind of crazy okay my mind just broke anyways well at 27 
I hope. Which like I hate just be like making these plans because I did that before and my whole life turned around. So um, kind of just is what it is. Whatever happens, happens. It's fine. God has a plan. But I do see myself being married with at least one kid. Hopefully a couple by then. Let's do some eyeshadow. I just take this bronzer. I think it's a Hula, the Hula Benefit bronzer. And I just use this as eyeshadow. It's like the perfect little, just a little something something, you know. As far as my job goes, I do love my job and I just had my six month review and they also love me and there's a lot that could happen in the future so I'm really excited to stick with my job. Hopefully I'll still have it but it's also my dream to be a stay at home mom so it kind of just depends on how life goes and kind of what God's plan is for that situation but I do love my job so I think I'll be able to, especially being able to work from home, I think I'll be able to still be a mom and have the job but I'm not making that decision right now because I'm still a couple years away from having kids so it's kind of whatever. That's actually so weird because like getting married and having kids and all that is actually getting so much closer the older I get and I'm like whoa but I'm also so excited for that stage of life yeah. oh Phoenix finally found me hi buddy come here he's like you're talking and you're not talking to me okay this is not my favorite eyeliner but I'm just gonna use it to do the, that part of my eye and then I'll use my other one to do a wing because I thought I bought something to do winged eyeliner but I didn't and I'm like out of the wing one. Okay, my mirror is so far away. That got interesting. This eyeliner is literally like out. How does that look? That's pretty good. I just wanted like little simple subtle wings. Yeah, I see that's solid. Oh, I forgot. I also like to take the highlighter and just do like kind of an inner corner a little bit on the eyelid. Just to add a little bit more pizzazz. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about my relationship or dating or anything because I'm really happy and I don't really have much to share and I don't really know what y'all would even want to know. Where's my brush? My hair is looking interesting right now. Oh, I feel like the other big thing in relationships is remembering that you're always changing and so you can't put the expectation to be the exact same person that you were when you met on someone. I have a lot of experience with that not working out. But just remembering that you're constantly growing and changing and you have to be willing to grow and change with your partner. Maybe push them to grow and change, but also just to be able to love them in every single stage of that growth and change. Like, I mean, if you think about it, I'm 22 and my, well, I'm not 22 yet, but I'm about to be, and my boyfriend is 24. And let's say we get married, right? We're gonna be 30 at some point. We're gonna be 40, we're gonna be 50, we're gonna be 60. And you think we're gonna be the same as we were when we were mid to early 20 year olds? Like, no that's an unrealistic expectation and it's just just not how things go this is your sign to never get bangs they're so freaking cute but oh my gosh unless you want to spend like 20 minutes every morning screaming at them to freaking do their thing i mean i guess if that only is the case if you have a natural middle part see my hair always naturally will part in the middle and it makes it really difficult to have bangs but they are cute when they work let's go put on my work clothes and then i'll show you guys my valentine's date outfit when i get ready for that okay i just got new work clothes my work gave me a budget to get some like professional clothes to wear in the videos i film for them so let me do a little show you what i got well just an outfit okay so i got this like silky button-up shirt it's so cute i should probably tuck it in you only see me from the waist up in videos so it doesn't really matter and then i got these cute pants and i also got some blazers i'm not sure if i'll wear a blazer today because i'm wearing like the cute silk button-up but i definitely can i don't know if, is this too many colors no i feel like it goes I don't know. Once again, you really only see waist up. So this will be the work fit and I'll show you guys the Valentine's Day fit when I change. Okay, this is gonna be the fit for our Valentine's Day date. It's perfect because the shirt is like kind of pinky, so kind of Valentine's Day. And then just these like new jeans that I got. Cute, comfortable, casual. I like it. I'll wear my Doc Martens. And let's go on my secret date that y'all can't know about. What are we doing? Taking out the trash. <laughs> Other than taking out the trash. Walking downstairs. And then? Where are we going? To the car. And then? Uh, do I have everything? Yes. Anyway, watch. Oh my, there's so You're trolling. Things. I'm literally going. You're trolling. I'm not. Where even what? Is this? Uh, should I park here and we walk or should I just turn around and go back on the other side or whatever? I don't care. Whatever's lit. Oh, I thought you wore pink. Oh, you did! How cute! I didn't this even is, tell you to wear that. What is the? It's pink. It's this like peach. Pink. It's like peachy it's pink. It's like tan. Mm, it has a pink vibe to it's it. It's tan with a tropic flare. A splash. It's kind of pink. 
We're back from our fun little day. I got my work clothes back on because I gotta go film some more. But my boyfriend made me lunch real quick. I'm gonna watch a little uh, YouTube video, eat my lunch, and get back to work. Yeah.